Hi everyone, I'm Chris Coward, Executive Coach and Leadership Development Expert. I'm here to do a little video for you today on how to choose an executive coach. I'm going to go over four things that I recommend you consider when choosing your coach. So the first thing is chemistry. And the way to assess that is to have at least a 15 minute conversation uh, with the prospective coach and maybe have several uh, different uh, coaches that you're looking at and you're looking for how easy it is to share with them what your trust level is of them uh, can you be open and honest and vulnerable because that is how you're going to grow um, what's their style with you um, are they going to are they warm and friendly which is easy for you to open up or is there a little bit of a uh, edge to them um, that maybe for your purposes of coaching is going to be really helpful to you to be challenged to grow. So you should feel by the end of that conversation, if it's the right coach, pretty excited, uh, ready to go, and also maybe a little daunted or nervous about it because you know you're going to be uh, asked to stretch and grow beyond your comfort zone. So that's all a good thing. So that's so that's chemistry. But that's a that's a biggie. Um, the second is. What is this executive coach's thought leadership? And you can find that out by maybe asking them directly on their leadership approach, how they work with leaders. Um, you may see on their website what they talk about. Um, you know, are they talking about using a coach approach to management? Um, are they kind of specialists in managing difficult conversations, getting more productivity from the team. You know, what is their kind of leadership philosophy, you know, if you will. That's that's good to know because you want to make sure that it's going to be helpful to what you want to grow in and learn about. And then the third thing is that you want your coach to have an understanding of organizational dynamics and, and team development because that's a big part of leadership is how am I leveraging the strengths of my team, how am I helping my team grow, bringing them together, what are the organizational dynamics in my organization, and how can my coach help me uh, create a better understanding how to move through that and, and leverage my team to get the best from them. And then the fourth thing in this, I recognize that I'm very biased around this, is that uh, your executive coach should have an ICF credential. And what is that? The ICF stands for International Coach Federation. Again, I'm biased, but it's I believe it's the gold standard of the coaching industry, um, meaning they have had training from a, a school that's approved from the International Coach Federation, and they uh, adhere to a, a ethics and um, standards around that, so you know you'd be taken care of that way and they'll be following that code. Um, and, and again, the, competent, the 11 competencies that are part of ICF training are really important and, and they work, right? Um, the danger out there in the coaching world, the big wide world coaching world that you know, everybody and their mother can call themselves a coach, right? So what happens sometimes is that people are not really trained in coaching and they're out there calling themselves a coach and doing coaching. Uh, so that can be dangerous because you don't know what you're getting, right? And at least with an ICF credential coach, you know that you're getting uh, someone who has been trained in a great set of core competencies and, and is holding uh, the ethical standards of the ICF. So that's, that's it for this video. It's a short one. Um, and good luck with that. And if you have any questions on how to choose a coach, um, please comment below or reach out to me at the link below. Have a great day.